Today's video is a follow-up to a request several years ago at Utter Access Forum to hide the access taskbar icon with your applications. And although a fairly unusual request, it's something that can be done. And so we can go from a taskbar with an access icon like this on a simple button click to having the icon disappear. And we can bring it back in the same way. The related article with an example app and all required code is at isleofdogs.co.uk hide taskbar icon. So as I said, the idea was easy enough to explain, although the original poster at Utter Access Forum never really explained why she wanted to do it. It was surprisingly difficult to do, but a couple of us actually looked into it and found different ways of solving the problem. You may ask why anyone would want to do this, and as I say, the original poster never explained it to herself properly. I'll give you one reason for doing it later on in the video. There are two solutions, one that I came up with using the set window long API, and another from Philip Stiefel using some fairly complex com interface code called taskbar list. In each case, the application window can be visible or hidden, the code still works, and it also works whether you use a standard access icon or a custom icon with your application. So we've got different access apps for each of those cases here. Let's start with the standard access icon. So we come to a startup form which explains the basic idea here, and it gives some important caveats which I'll come to later on. If you click on the left hand button here, we get Philip Stiefel's code, taskbar list, and as you can see, we've got the taskbar icon here. We can hide it, we can show it, we can hide the application window, and we can also then hide the icon again and show the icon. Let's bring the window back again. Let's close that and go to my own code using set window long API and exactly the same idea, hide the icon, show it, hide the application window and hide the icon, show the icon. So we can do that with either of these, it works perfectly well. And now let's have a look at the custom icon, exactly the same code. Here you can see we've got that triangular icon here. Now there's an interesting effect here. We can hide it, we can show it. That's not a problem. Now let's hide the application window. And you see now that it's reverted to the standard access icon. This is an artifact of the code I used to hide the application window. I haven't yet found a, a workaround for that, but either way, I can still hide and show that with the application window hidden. Let's bring it back again, close that, go to here, hide the icon, show the icon, hide the window, we've got the reverted icon again, hide the icon, show the icon. So you can see it works in each case. Now at this point I could show you this with either version of the code, it's all identical in terms of the outcome here, show the application window. If we now hover over the icon there you can see that the icon is actually for the application window. If I close that it's closed access completely, no problem. Let's open it again and do this again. This time now I'm going to do this, but I'm going to hide the application window first. Now I've still got an icon down here, but you'll notice this time that that icon is for the form itself. The application is hidden, so the icon is for the form. Now if I click close there now, I'm going to close that form, but I've got nothing else visible that I can access. And so when we do this, although it appears to have closed perfectly well, what we've actually got now, if we go to Task Manager, we've got a hidden instance of access left open. Therefore, the only way to close access is to click End Task here. One reason why you might want to do this is if you've hidden the application window, you do not want users to be able to close that inadvertently here by clicking on that red cross. If they do, as I said, you are left in Task Manager with a hidden instance of access that you have to close manually. 
not something you want to keep doing. Why anyone would want to do this with the application window visible is something I'm still unsure about. I really cannot see any purpose in doing it, but I'd like to hear otherwise. Okay, thanks for watching. If you found it useful in any way at all, please add a like and leave a comment, suggest topics for future videos, and please subscribe. You'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. That's all for today. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.